What's up everybody? It's me Corn. I'm back with another review. A very first review of 2022. Um, I've actually been saving uh, these particular four right here for um, just this special review because uh, before you know 2021 wrapped up, as most of you guys probably did, uh, we all caught up with um, Spider-Man No Way Home. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll start off the year with this. And uh, you know, that doesn't mean that Santos Escobar isn't special. Uh, right there uh, he is um, but uh, I solely just want to you know I really just want to open him so bad so that's why I just threw him in here and uh, yeah so uh, here, here we got uh, we have a sent uh, sentinel I finally got it right sentinels um, Miles Morales and then Mafex Miles Morales reason why I did that was because I um, you know, I mean, you know, you can never go wrong with having both, both brands. Um, each brand is going to have their pros and their cons. From what I know is, uh, this Miles Morales' neck peg, uh, makes him look like he has no neck. So, a uh, big shout out to my fam bam, Richard Thor on Instagram. His name is Thor 7 So give him a follow if you guys haven't already. Um, he does amazing shots. He recently, he just did some really awesome some really awesome Spider-Man shots of Miles Morales and Peter B. Parker. I still gotta get Peter B. Parker too, but uh, we'll have to kind of uh, wait that out. Gotta make sure that my wife doesn't rip my head off. <laughs> and then uh, in the back we have Spider-Man 2099, uh, the most recent retro Spidey. And then we have uh, Prowler in the back. Uh, I didn't want to open Prowler until I got my Mafex Miles Morales. And the, uh, the Sentinel Miles Morales. So, uh, enough talk. Let's open up all of these bad boys. So here are all five figures out of their packaging. Um, plus three more, which is Green Zeo Ranger, Blue uh, Ranger from Lost in Galaxy, and Dino Thunder White Ranger. Um, before I jump to uh, all five figures down here, uh, I want to talk a bit about down with Thunder, uh, White Ranger. As you guys could see, something about him is off. And uh, everyone that has already collected him early on, you know, um, everyone did get the correct head scan. This is the correct head scan. Um, this, I didn't realize it, you know, like a lot of people was, before I started collecting, before, before I even got, uh, the White Ranger from Dino Thunder, a lot of people were complaining, and it's clearly because, as you guys could see, I'm just going to zoom in real quick here. You could see that his his uh, head scan doesn't have the black outline as the one that I have right here on hand. So, um... Uh, we're gonna pop off that head and we're gonna put this one on so i've just really just wanted to do this real quick show this to you guys okay here let's grab him pop off the head and of course that they have they all come with their accessories i just decided to put them in a ziploc bag um let's see yeah i put them in a ziploc bag because they don't, they're not the main focus, uh, the five right here are, but you know, like I guess I just wanted to put these guys up because they're like a special feature. So yeah, as you guys could see, that looks much better, more accurate, and um, it doesn't look like it's out of place, you know, versus this one right here. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them back up here. And then we are going to begin with Santos Escobar. So Santos Escobar, as you guys could see, um, with his packaging, right? He comes with uh, an, uh, a luchador uh, head sculpt and um, flat hands or bitch slap hands, as I would like to call them. <laughs> so, yeah, he doesn't come with too much, but... Uh, what I do like about him is that he's WWE Elite. Their their Elite line is Mattel's WWE Elite line 
is finally uh, uh, having more double jointed elbows. I think the only ones that I don't see with double jointed elbows are the the top picks, the um, and the the, the legends uh, wave WrestleMania. Well, the WrestleMania wave is getting it now uh, with you know Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and who's the other figure? You'll probably see it on here, but uh, I can't think of him right now. And everything is a build figure for Vince McMahon. So, uh, back to Santos Escobar. He comes with the updated Cruiserweight Championship. Um, I really like this Cruiserweight Championship. You know what? Since we're talking about the Cruiserweight Championship, let me grab the oh, Cruiserweight Championship. The uh, motto that returned. Well, the Cruiserweight Championship when it returned in 2016 here. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. Let's pull out my Cruiserweight Championships. Well. Oh. Here it is. So this was the... Well, this wasn't exactly the very first Cruiserweight Championship that, you know, they had back. When I returned in 2016. But. Um, well I mean it, it's technically the same. It's just that the. Lo, the the under the, the. Underline under the WWE logo. Uh, wasn't orange. It was just. It was just purple too. But once they became intact with 205 Live. It became. Um, orange. And if you guys didn't know already. Uh, he's. The WWE has officially retired the Cruiserweight Championship once again. Um, yeah, once again, they retired the Cruiserweight Championship. And I don't know what to say. Um, I mean, it was already kind of dead because they booked themselves into that corner. Oh, uh, man. Give me a second here. I'm still trying to find something special. That something special that I was trying to find was the Ruthless Aggression Era Cruiserweight Championship. I, I thought it would be a great look on him. Um, apparently, he was the only last legit Cruiserweight Champion that we had. Before that, it was Neville, which is who's now uh, going back by his former ring name, uh, Pac. And he's in AEW. Yeah, I just thought it would be a great look. But as I was saying, you know, um, I'm not even surprised... That they're getting rid of the cruiserweight championship this nxt cruiserweight championship right here you know like i said they backed themselves into a corner um and it went when it went under vince's hand you know as great of a genius as he is it was the cruiserweight division kind of died at that point until neville saved it and then enzo more became a cruiserweight champion um so yeah, I just thought it would be a great look on him to throw it on to him. It's clearly a lot smaller than both Cruiserweight Championships, but I thought it would be, I thought it would, like, it, like it said, I thought it would be nice to put on him. So, uh, that is enough for Santos Escobar. We are going to move on. Wait, actually, no, not, not quite yet. There is something about him that bugs me, and that is this lazy look that they have given to um to santos escobar right here this painting <laughs> I, I said lazy look the, the his overall look looks great it's just that this little thing is what bothers me mattel i don't know i feel like they got lazy uh because they did the same thing to to kane right here ultimate edition kane and um what i had to actually do was i had to paint it i had to paint uh, this end, do their little handiwork for them that they couldn't do. So, uh, I don't know if you guys could see, but there, there's still, there's some, um, skin tone that's still, uh, visible. Uh, after, after I got done painting, painting it, it didn't look like this, but, uh, it turned out like this after moving the elbows, uh, messing around with the articulation. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to repaint this again. And there's something that I have to get, which I'm showing you guys right here. Apparently this thing, this uh, 
this texture helps the paint stay on so that it doesn't wear off uh, after you've painted the figure so I'm gonna get that and uh, which I already pre which I already ordered so it's not very much I just only $3.99 on Amazon but yeah that's just a big pet peeve for me and I like my it's unfortunate that all the figures I want do not come in perfect condition like Matt Hardy says so it is what it is uh, he does have some other issues around here but it's not it's not too visible it just looks like some parts of it are wearing off but yeah I am gonna put him over here and we are gonna go over Prowler so as you guys can see Prowler uh, Miles Morales, they scale up with uh, this Prowler perfectly because, you know, it does give a great uncle and nephew vibe to it. So, I dig it. And um, my purpose behind getting this Miles Morales, from Mafex Miles Morales, is because I want to throw these soft goods on this one. Just so, you know, I could... Get a mix and match them around a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but the, the coloring, the black coloring on this Miles Morales is a lot lighter compared to this one. Where this one, it kind of has like a a look that makes it shines and stand, makes him shine and stand out more. So, um, <laughs> and earlier, I think, I think I talked about this or not, but I don't know if you guys could tell, but his, it looks like he has no neck. So what I'm about to do is, um, before I even swap these clothes over here onto here, and I'm talking about the clothes here again because this Miles Morales doesn't have any soft goods. He just has body parts that you have to pop off and um, pop on. So rather than wasting my time doing that, I just want to throw these clothes right here onto here. So, um, yeah, so here's the neck peg. Again, shout out to my nephew, uh, Richard. And, you know, like I said, if you haven't followed him on Instagram yet, please follow him at .thor7. Okay, he also has a Twitch stream too. I'll find it and throw it on here and you guys could join him on Twitch. Um, so yeah, I got a tweezer and we are going to um, switch the peg on here. Because apparently it's a bit short. Yeah, it's a lot shorter. It's a lot shorter than, um, than these right here. So... I'm going to get to it. Well, this is great. I broke the damn peg. <laughs> um, I So I got the peg inside the, the neck joint and the neck. And then uh, for some reason, the head wouldn't go in. So I pressed down on it and then it broke off. So that's real fun. Luckily, I still have the other peg. And um, I guess what I should have done was just put the peg in the head first before putting it on here. And I didn't do that, so that's how I messed it up. So that's great. Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to drill this out. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> so this is a really weird way to uh, end uh, a review of mine. Um, I do want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, I wish I could go more in depth with uh, the figures. So actually, you know what? You know, forget it. Let's just do it, right? So here's... So yeah, you could take off his soft goods. You know, let's pop off this head. This head won't have any issues breaking off, right? Because Mafex, they uh, their their joints are a bit um, what is it? Uh, their the ball joints are different. Okay. What you do is also take this off, and it's cool too. You could actually remove the shoes, and he has other. He has several accessories that uh. They, that comes with him. Both of them actually do, and that's the really big reason why I um I got them both so that you know I could mix and match them. Okay, you know what? Let's take this off. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, pants are a bit tight on him. Actually, let's see here. Ah, perhaps this is why. Okay, there we go. Oh, you could actually uh move the belt around, so that's. That's interesting. So yeah, um, the Miles, he uh, let's 
Let's use one of his heads. His other alternate heads here. I like this one here. The one where he has a, a mask on. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get his let's get his shoes on. Okay, so um clearly right here as you guys could see, they both um let me there we go. Their focus is on them. Uh let's try. Okay, so yeah. You guys could see uh, they both have the same leg articulations, right? You could do all that with them. But the big downside about uh, Sentinels is that there's there's no uh, ball joints on, on, on the on the hands. So they just turn, they just spin around like that. They just, that's how they rotate. Whereas, whereas Mafex, there's the... Yeah, this is I, I I can't describe it. <laughs> maybe maybe it's because I'm so bothered that the pe the damn peg broke off. But yeah, so there's so uh, rather than spinning around in a circle, you know, you, it could actually you, the uh, the hand articulations could actually um, go forward and backwards. So yeah, Sentinels can't do that. Only Mafexes can. So, um, there's no, what is it? Eh, elbow joints are, are the same. So, yeah, um, if anything, you know, Mafex's, Mafex's articulation is slightly better. And, um, Mafex's looks more accurate, whereas, uh, Sentinel's is, um, is, it's a close one. But I really like the uh, the look on Mayfex's Miles Morales because, like I said, it, it shines and it stands out. Whereas, you know, this is kind of like a smoke, like a charcoal look. So yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some comparisons with their Marvel Legends counterparts, besides Prowler and um, and Spider-Man 2099 in the back. Let's see here. Let's do this. So we're going to have a headless <laughs> Miles Morales here. Um, and then we're going to grab some figures to uh, do some comparisons. It, it kind of looks like the there's no swivel. There's no, there's no swivel. So I want to risk that. I don't want to break this either. So that kind of sucks. Again, Miles, again, Mayfax Miles is Mayfax is Miles Morales top is um is top notch. Let's see here. Let's uh bring it down here a little bit. Yeah, take a look at yourself with your uh, headless self. <laughs> so we have uh, this is. I think this is one of the very first Marvel Legends Miles Morales. So yeah, very big difference here. Uh, sl slightly, just a slight bit taller. Let's see here. And then we have um, Carnage Rised, if that's even a word. Carnage Rised Miles Morales. All right. Don't want to say venomized because he wasn't venomized. It was carnage. So that's why I'm saying carnage rised. <laughs> um, yeah, can you stand up? I think I've had him crouched down for so long that he can't even stand up straight. Perhaps it's probably because of my damn extreme sets cardboard where it's like slanted. So, um, damn, dude, can you stand up straight? Oh, come on. Okay, right here, right there, stand up, stay up, okay, and then um, we're going to put Gwen Stacy, uh, there we go, see, right here, because of you, I had to drop Gwen Stacy, let's see, it's pushing forward a little bit, oh, come on, all right, get over here, hey. <laughs> damn, this mouse, can I stand up, just, just stay down, <laughs> shit, but, um, yeah, oh man, 
<laughs> so Gwen's Marvel Legends Gwen Stacy is a lot taller than Mayfex and Sentinels uh, Miles Morales. So that's gonna be an odd couple. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this pretty much brings my review to an end. It was a really weird ending. Um, uh, well, not quite yet. Let's see. Let's push this to the side. <laughs> I want to compare um, this uh, Spider-Man 2099 next to the retro uh, Spider-Man right here. I, I'm kind of bummed out, man. I wish that they, I wish that they gave um, this same body type to the same body mold to Spider-Man 2099. It'd be great if they did that, you know, because. I mean, it gives him more. T it gives him more to do. He's not so limited to doing Spider-Man poses, you know. Um, I mean, I'm sure he can. He could get to do them, but it doesn't go as well as you know, like like this here, you know, where he could like do his Spidey poses where he spins with his damn webs right i mean he could do that too but you know this this gives it like extra articulation on the body and i like that whereas this right here you're can't really i don't know i mean you could still do it too but and i feel like this one's really stiff but you know it's not it's not as nice you know look at this it leaves a really big gap here and it just doesn't look as nice. As you guys could see. And then if he spins. <laughs> that's how it looks. If he turns. That's how it looks. You know. I mean. Well there goes Prowler. Hasbro has done this for quite some time already. And you know. It's. I mean. If you're going to make a new. My, my thing is. If you're just going to make. A, if you're going to make a new Spidey body type. Or. A body mold like this on your other line of figures like G.I. Joe. Why can't you just make it universal? You know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have that. But, you know, this is why we can't have some nice things, right? So, yeah. Uh, now, we're officially going to end this video. <laughs> Again, really weird way ending this. It started off really well. And then it just kind of went down like the rest of these figures here. As you all could see. <laughs> Only ones left standing is the Rangers and Santos Escobar. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Really appreciate this. Uh, really appreciate you all. <laughs> I appreciate everything that I have here, actually. Uh, but I, I also appreciate you all for tuning in. Uh, you know, watching a review like this. And um, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me. Um, Follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already. Follow me at Real Corn TB, okay? Real Corn TB because corn choreography has been hacked. Um, I don't know if the page is still up, and if it still is, uh, just do me a favor, go and uh, report it that it's uh, not me and it's uh, it's apparently now a fake page. So everything that I have there, I will slowly be uploading all of it on my new um instagram toy page other than that um thank you all so much thank you all again take care peace